Hey there, my name is Michael and I'm going to walk you through this screencast. The web, one huge database. This is the first episode of the series Linked Data for Hacker Show. So the World Wide Web is one huge database. Hmm. How is that possible? Okay, let's step back for a moment. You all know the relational database thingy, MySQL, Oracle, whatever you use. You've got a schema, you've got data, and you've got references between the tables. You know, the idea there is you have a prime key and a foreign key that relates uh, the tables to each other. However, these relational database thingies, they're kind of local, right? Local to an application or whatever. It's not that easy to merge data from different sources. And the web? Isn't that just a bunch of documents? Well, not anymore, right? We've got structured data, we've got Atom, microformat, markup, RDFA, and so on and so forth. And we've got linked data. Linked data. Well, that's the linked open data cloud in mid-2009. Hundreds of data sets, billions of data items interlinked um, with hundreds of millions of so-called typed links. We've got a lot of different data in there, governmental data and geolocation data, music, but books, social profiles, e-commerce, healthcare and life science stuff. We can have Twitter, delicious, whatever. But hang on. Yeah, right. The idea was to explain to you what, uh, how the World Wide Web can be used as one huge database, right? Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> I'm getting so excited when I'm talking about linked data. Okay, so linked data, we've got scheme there, we've got data, and we've got typed links. Uh, that sounds familiar, right? Yeah, right. Basically the same idea. Uh, there's something missing, right? Yeah, how to find that data and query and access it. Right, so you know from the rational world there is SQL. And because we're cool, we also have something like that. It's called Sparkle in the linked data world. Right, let's get our hands dirty now. First, we have to kind of bootstrap. We have to jump into that semantic space, into that typed link space. And we can query using Sparkle. Then we can follow our nose through the data or refine the query. And finally, we enjoy. Let's have a look at DBpedia, which is the linked data version of Wikipedia. We fire up our favorite web browser, Firefox in my case. Enter lookup.dpedia.org and enter the name of an entity, in our case, Darth Vader. And that lookup service actually is an index of all the data in DPpedia and returns, for example, Darth Vader in the first row. We click on it, dereference it, and we find some information about Darth Vader. Now, looking at the location and uh, looking at what this entity is actually called or referred to on the web, uh, there's a tiny difference, right? On um, the location part, it says page, and actually the, the URI of that entity, uh, it says resource. Well, that's not a problem, right? Whatever is on the page, that's for the human users in, on the web browser. And uh, the entity itself, the address of that entity, if you wish, is actually under resource. So whenever you want to refer to the entity, use resource. Whenever you want to see or uh, talk about the, the, the page, the HTML, you have page. And also under data, you have uh, the data in a raw format. Now, I said, we want to query this stuff, right? Okay, now let's have a look at the concrete Sparkle query. Uh, I already told you that um, when I want to refer to the entity Darth Vader, 
I'm using resource. So what I'm saying here is give me all type links from the resource from the entity Darth Vader and its values, but I'm only interested in values which are actually URIs. I don't want the literals, the, the strings and whatever. So DBpedia is offering a Sparkle endpoint, which is uh, a nice interface where you can enter this Sparkle query and also execute it. Ah, that looks good. So remember, I said select type linked and value, and indeed there it is. I have the type link column and the value column. I'm interested in a special row here, especially to me because I'm looking for aliases of that entity. And what it basically says here is same as, it claims that this is the same entity as what I find under this URI. So I could dereference that URI, which basically means I paste it again in the browser location bar, and voila, I'm there at Freebase. Follow the type linked, called owl same as, remember here, owl same as, and I find out more about Darth Vader in a different data space, a different web database. Let's have a look at another example, not so centralized one, uh, called fourth friend of a friend vocabulary, um, able to express social relations, preferences, and so on. I've chosen Tim's profile. Uh, Tim is not only the director of W3C, but also a quite uh, well-known hacker. And when I look up his uh, fourth profile in um, Tabulator, which is an extension to uh, Firefox, Firefox extension you can download and install or use online, it renders quite nicely as uh, such a tabular form, and I can, for example, see who Tim claims to know that's Dan Brickley, who, um, together with Libby Miller, created that full vocabulary. So I can browse it kind of, not only as a human, but also um, using uh, software. I can just follow these typed links uh, in the program. Again, I want to query the data I have here. Uh, we have, again, a Sparkle query. You are already familiar with that now. In that case, in contrast to um, dbpedia.org, where there is a centralized uh, service. Uh, we don't have such a thing here in, in fourth profile, so it's just tiny documents all over the web. And hence, we've got to use a generic Sparkle uh, endpoint on the Sparkle org. And we also have to tell from where the data comes, in our case, from Tim's fourth profile, which is under W3 org people bonus lead card. And I want to know who uh, Tim claims to know, and again, I'm only interested in um, URIs and not uh, strings or whatever. So I enter that in Sparkle.org and execute it. Voila, and we have a nice table of uh, people who Tim claims to know. So their identifiers in the first uh, column and their names and clear. Right, so I hope you have enjoyed it so far, and if you want more, some brain food, um, basically articles, blog posts, and so on, that show you how you can uh, directly use the link data stuff out there, um, Sparkle, tutorial, and if you want to get an overview of link data org guides and tutorials, there is a collection of uh, further link data material there. If uh, you want more information and you want to engage, you want, might want to visit us at linkdata.dairy.ie, subscribe to our mailing list or follow us on Twitter. And in case you want to rent or say how great you found that screencast, drop me a line, michael.hausenplus at dairy.org, connect on Skype, mhausenplus, or no big surprise, I'm also mhausenplus on IRC SWIC channel, the Semantic Web Interest Group channel. See you there.